Well, Hillary Clinton, as you know, if you have a television set, has routinely represented herself as America's great crusader against sexual harassment and abuse. The whole world heard him talking about the terrible way he treats women. It is not enough to condemn campus sexual assault. We need to end campus sexual assault. We don't want a president who demeans women. I take on the issues of sexism and misogyny uh, and talk about it because we need to pull it out and put it in the bright light. It's odd then that Clinton was so very slow, so slow that someone for her aides commented on it in public in responding to the reactions against Weinstein. After five days, Clinton finally released a statement saying she was, quote, shocked and appalled by the allegations. CNN's Aaron Burnett pointed out that, quote, HRC spoke for 90 minutes last night, didn't mention Harvey Weinstein. She didn't give women a pass for not voting for her, but she gave him one. Maybe we shouldn't be surprised, though. In two of the biggest sexual harassment scandals of the past three decades, Bill Clinton and Anthony Weiner, Hillary Clinton was right in the middle. What's a third scandal where she failed to step up? In fact, she may be the enabler, it turns out. Richard Goodstein knows her well. She advised both of Hillary Clinton's presidential campaigns, and he joins us tonight. It's a little weird, don't you think? I mean, I'm not Sigmund Freud or anything, but someone who has made her signature issue with the treatment of women is married to Bill Clinton. Her chief aide is married to Anthony Weiner, and one of her closest personal friends is Harvey Weinstein. What is that? Well, I mean, first of all, the premise for many of the points you just made in this in this build-up, frankly, were inaccurate. Let's well, take one well, example. Let's take one. He said she was in the middle of the Anthony Weiner scandal. Anthony Weiner went to jail for virtual intrusions on women. Donald Trump bragged about walking in okay. on naked, wait, underage wait, women. On, no, he on. bragged about it. He so, bragged about grabbing so women. Trump, look, I'm not here. Wait, stop it. I'm not, no, here to but, defend, I'm not here to defend Trump. Good. But I'm not a nationally famous feminist who's scolding the rest of us for mistreating women. She is. And that's a fair description, and you know it. Why the hell does she have the authority to speak like that when she is married to Bill Clinton, who has been credibly accused of sex crimes for real, she employed, you know, she was close to Anthony Weiner by both of their descriptions, and her friend Harvey Weinstein has been accused of rape by three people, and she says nothing for five days? Well, what is going on here? Uh, sincerely, yeah, what's going on here? Truly. Okay. First, th this outrage would seem more genuine if the same outrage from the same people had been voiced when Donald Trump, again, bragged about sexual assault. Okay? That's fine. I know it's Look, not then, a Trump then you segment. can call me inconsistent or whatever, it's, but it's not about me. I'm asking a question about her yeah. and the standards that she has set forth for the rest of us. It, what is going on? So last week, when she spoke out against uh, guns in Las Vegas, she was accused on this network, because I was on a segment about it, of coming out too soon. Okay. Now, she's being accused of being too late. Look, there are life and death issues which Hillary Clinton talks about which includes Puerto Rico, and includes climate change, includes gun safety, includes little things like nuclear war, okay? The fact that she didn't come out exactly when you would have wanted her to is hardly Richard, a crime. That's, that's a dodge, okay? I mean, let's, not... let's be real. This is her signature issue, the treatment of women. She ran as the first right. credible female presidential candidate to break the glass ceiling. She blamed sexism for her loss. She has, as we played in our clips, repeatedly lectured the country on its mistreatment of women and men like Harvey Weinstein in particular for sexually harassing women. So it's not like it's, it's not the law of the sea treaty. It's not totally out of left field. This right. is exactly where she lives every day. Right. And, and, and when she did come out again it, against it, what he did, incidentally, um, every single Democrat has distanced themselves from Harvey Weinstein, unlike every single Republican who stood by Donald Trump. Steve Bannon said, but had Kellyanne Conway not been there, okay. that would have been lost. So Look, the you're fact saying, I mean, I guess I'm just a little bit confused because I sincerely thought this was the one issue she really seemed to care about. I don't think she's a genius or a profound abstract thinker, as I've said. But I think on this issue, the treatment of women, it seems heartfelt. She talks about it in every speech. Right. And that's why it's a little weird when the guy she rented a house next to in the Hamptons right. for the summer. Right who's raised more than a million dollars for her, does this. Like, do you think she would at least pipe up and say, you know what, this is wrong? He makes movies. Donald Trump is the president. I'm sorry. And there's some it's irony not, that in some TV networks, there was behavior Is that also. really the answer, that Trump is bad? No, no. The, of course, the, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. Oh, because you seem to be but, arguing that they do. No, I'm just suggesting this outrage is faux outrage, because we didn't hear a word of it. Well, it's actually, when it in, my came case, to the guy. in my case, it's not so much outrage. It's confusion. 
Like, how can you have a party that claims to protect women when here you have a rich and powerful person abusing the weak and then defended by another a larger group of powerful people, including Hillary Clinton? No, no, like, no. How does that happen? But say, it's the defended part. Every single Democrat that's been heard on this has said, here's your money back. We're giving it to this charity or whatnot. Oh, they, In contrast to every Republican who stood by Donald okay. Trump, okay, accused but, of virtually... But, 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 by your, but hold on. But by your own standards... You shouldn't be surprised because the Republican Party is the party that's waging a war on women, but the Republican Party is its, and the Democratic Party is its natural home, the party that protects them. I just find it, let me ask you a really simple question. Sure. Do you sincerely believe that in the 25 years she's known Harvey Weinstein, Hillary Clinton never heard one rumor about his treatment of women? So <clears throat> Meryl Streep, we take as a credible person, said she didn't. She's actually in the movie industry. Hillary Clinton wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, Julianne Moore, in the movie industry, said she never he heard a word of it. And you have to assume the Obamas knew and in the face of knowing, put their daughter in there. I understand people don't think sort of um, things through very well, but to suggest that is I'm to not, suggest I'm a not level of adult thinking that I don't even I'm think. I'm just suggesting that if you, po if you fancy yourself a moral leader, and the Obamas and Hillary Clinton certainly do, mm -hmm. that you ought to... Call it as you see it. And they as did. Early, five days when later. the evidence came out. Let me out. ask you this. Would days. you support a federal investigation into the culture of sexual abuse in Hollywood? I would support looking at any number of... Are we going to look at, at TV networks as yes, well? Yes, we've already had federal investigations of into TV networks, all kinds of... TV news networks, into, seriously. No, look, you have this... So you're saying that there needs to be a federal investigation of TV networks in, in order to investigate Hollywood? What are you saying? I, 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 Why I would wouldn't say, you support that? Here's what I think. I think... This is not going to be responsive, but it's what I actually think. I think Donald Trump is going after the courts. I think he's going after the press. Oh God. And I think he's going after me. black athletes. And now Hollywood. Hallelujah. He's got his, his enemies list. But it's not. Trump has not said word one about this. I'm suggesting. Yeah, we did. It because... He said, I've known Harvey Weinstein. And no, why no, is he hold not... on. Stop. I'm yeah. asking you a very simple question. Please. We saw investigations into a range of higher institutions of, learning, of colleges. Yep. On this basis, why wouldn't you support one into Hollywood? I don't, I don't think because we've they're seen, donors. I don't think we've seen investigations of institutions of higher learning because some professor abused his students. I really think that's because there was sexual that abuse. Have. That was the allegation. The military, same thing. So it's okay to investigate the Marine Corps, but not Miramax. Like no, what? No, no, no. I'm just saying. I don't think we've had a single person's uh, misdeeds. You guys will defend this. your donors at all costs. I noticed. There are hundreds. I should be. A, Trump, I should be a Democratic a donor. Than you one. can do anything Weinstein when you're a Democratic donor. Well, after more than...